Hello, welcome to Paul's Take. And this is a 2024 American Bulldog by Canoe. They're a company that's been around for a little bit, but they're focusing right now mostly on commercial products and to the military. So this will be one of their first available vehicles for the public. It's pretty cool. It's, a, it's supposed to be more accessible than, like, say, a Cybertruck. It's supposed to be a lot more inexpensive, under $50,000. As low as earlier projections was as low as $35,000, but it, I doubt that. But anyways, which is nice. I mean, it's not like crazy like the Cybertruck, but it looks very capable. And the fact that this thing apparently is based on a military vehicle that they had uh, designed for the military. But now it's going to be, you know, kind of, you know, set up for public, public use, public sales. Kind of like the Jeeps. And that's what it reminds me of, because it, is, it does look very utilitarian. Um, at first, I was thinking, eh, I don't know if I'd like that, because the rendering was very smooth and very commercial and more car-like, but less practical for, like, rugged stuff, going off-roading and using it as a work truck. The thing that surprised me is, actually, it's rather small. Um, it's considerably smaller than, I think, any pickup truck. I think it's even shorter than the... Uh, the, the Ford Maverick. It doesn't look like it. looks huge in the pictures, but apparently it's not. Apparently it's really small, and that's probably why the price is so low. Uh, it's supposed to have a 200-mile range, so I guess a smaller battery, smaller vehicle, up to 500 horsepower, um, and available in two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. So it's some options for you. I actually, uh, I think it'll do well. First, I, I didn't really like the uh, exterior until I found out it was military based. So that means this will be tough. I think this thing will do really well. If the price is right, it performs well, and especially if it has a really good off -wheel dry, four wheel drive system, that you can take this thing off roading and compete like with the, the with other off road vehicles like a Cybertruck and actually <laughs> they're not that good at off roading apparently, or like the uh, Jeep Wranglers and stuff like that, or the Rivian. If they can like get out there, get you out there cheaper and kind of cool in a tough exterior, and uh, it looks like a, it looks spacious on the inside, but like I said, this thing is, is pretty small. Um, it looks big in pictures, but I'd like to see it in person. Can't wait to see it. But I actually uh, I warmed up to it. I didn't really at first, but I'm, I'm starting to warm to the idea of this small utilitarian vehicle that would be. More affordable and tough. Badass. That's what we like. We like badass. All right, tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. Paul's Take. Please hit like, subscribe for more videos.